हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम प्रशांत विश्वनाथ धनशेट्टी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे आई एम यर टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द शेयर फोर्स एंड बेंडिंग मूवमेंट डायग्राम फॉर अ कैंटिलीवर बीम विथ पॉइंट लोड और यूडीएल और कॉम्बिनेशन the learning outcome of today's lecture is at the end of this session student will be able to understand the behavior of cantilever beam under different point loads and udl and they will be able to represent diagrammatically the shear force and bending moment diagram for cantilever beam so what is shear force and bending moment the algebraic sum of vertical forces at any section of a beam to the right or left of the section is known as shear force and it is briefly written as sf bending moment is the reaction induced in the structural member caused by an external force acting perpendicular to the member and resulting in rotation it is briefly written as bm shear force diagram is the one which shows the variation of the shear force along the length of the beam whereas bending moment diagram is the one which shows variation of the bending moment along the length of the beam now there are some important points uh, to be remember while drawing the shear force and bending moment diagram the shear force or bending moment are represented by ordinates that is on y axis whereas the length of the beam is represented in on the abscissa axis that is x axis now uh, for this uh, shear force and bending moment diagram uh, you have to remember these points so you have to consider either left or right portion of the section only so add the forces including the reaction normal to the beam on one of the portion if the right portion of the section is chosen a force on the right portion acting downward is positive while a force acting upward is negative if we consider uh, the left portion it will be vice versa the positive value of the shear forces and bending moments are plotted above the baseline whereas the negative values are plotted below the baseline the shear force diagram will increase or decrease suddenly by a vertical straight line at a section where there is a vertical point load the shear force between any two vertical load will be constant and hence the shear force diagram between two vertical load will be horizontal the bending moment at the two supports of a simply supported beam and at the free end of the cantilever beam will be zero now we will consider a cantilever beam with a point load at its free end so here there is a beam ab of length l which is having a point load a w at its free end so let fx be the shear force and uh, mx be the bending moment at any section xx and we will consider a distance x from the free end so the resultant force acting on the right portion of the section is w which is acting downward and hence it is positive now uh, as per the sign convention uh, this w is acting downwards but the right portion uh, acting downward is positive the shear force will be constant at all the section of the cantilever between a and b as there is no load so as there is no load between a and b it is represented horizontal so, so this is the shear force diagram for this cantilever with point load at the free end now what will be the bending moment at free end for a 2 meter cantilever beam having 2 kN at its free end here pause the video and try to write answer on a paper so it will be zero as uh, load into its perpendicular distance so the load is at the free end and the distance is at the free end so it is uh, distance is zero therefore load into zero it will be zero now we will uh, uh, see the bending moment diagram uh, for the same beam so again uh, the section will be at uh, x from the free end 
so the bending moment at this section uh, will be mx is equals to minus w into x so this w into this perpendicular distance so that is w into x so at x is equals to 0 means at point b so the bending moment is 0 that is w into 0 it will be 0 at x is equals to l that is at a bending moment here it will be this load into this perpendicular distance that is w into l so w into l so this uh, is uh, uh, negative so here i have uh, drawn uh, this on the negative side and i have to join this c to the b point to get the bending moment diagram now shear force and bending moment diagram for a cantilever with uniformly distributed load so here uh, cantilever beam is there with a uniformly distributed load of w per unit length and i will take a section uh, xx uh, at a distance of x from the free end so again f of x will be the shear force mx uh, will be the bending moment at section xx now the resultant force acting on the right portion of the section is w into x now here you see the resultant force is w into x so this uh, force so it is represented w per unit length so w into length so that will be w into x and it is acting at the downward so it is w into x so the equation here above uh, shows that it follows a straight line law so at b so at b the shear force that is when x is equals to 0 putting x value here 0 f of x is 0 so here you will be getting shear force 0 and at a when x is equals to l f of x is equals to again w into x where x is equals to l it is wl so this uh, will be wl so after drawing this wl i will join this uh, it will be a straight line law so this will be your shear force diagram for udl now bending moment uh, again the bending moment here if i consider the resultant uh, uh, load so it will be acting at this center means at x by 2 so i have to find out the resultant load and the distance between uh, this section xx and that point load so the load will be w into x and it will be acting at x by 2 from this section so the bending moment at a section x is given by so the load on the right uh, side portion into the cg of that load from x so mx is equals to minus w into x and it is acting at x by 2 so seeing this equation uh, it shows that uh, it follows a parabolic law as it is a square so to find out the bending moment at uh, b and a we have to uh, re uh, replace the value as x is equals to 0 and x is equals to l so at b when x is equals to 0 mx is 0 at a that is at x is equals to l mx is equals to my, uh, minus w x x square means now i will replace x with l so minus w l square by 2 so as it is negative i will draw below the uh, baseline so minus w l square by 2 and uh, this uh, follows a parabolic law so this is the bending moment diagram for a cantilever beam uh, with UDL. Now, shear force and bending moment diagram for a cantilever with point load and uniformly distributed load. There is a point load at the end and also uniformly distributed load w, uh, 4 kN per unit length and as the point load is 5 kN. So, Fx is the shear force. Now, I will take a section X that is uh, for, uh, at a distance of x from free end so the resultant force acting on the right side portion of the x so here what it will be the point load will be 5 as it is but udl is a 4 kN per meter so uh, i have to multiply that load into this length so it is 4x so fx is equals to 5 plus 4x 
so this above equation shows that the shear force follows a straight line so at b when x is equals to 0 uh, f of x is equals to 5 so it is positive i have plot uh, i will plot a 5 here then at x is equals to 2 so fx is equals to 5 plus 4 into 2 that is 13 so here i will draw this positive 13 and i will join this and i will get a shear force diagram so for bending moment diagram at uh, the section xx so what it will be force into this perpendicular distance so this 5 into this distance is x so mx is equals to minus 5 into x then again there will be a udl so this uh, 4 into x is the total load so minus w into x and again it is acting at x by 2 so into x by 2 so therefore my equation becomes mx is equals to minus 5x minus w x square by 2 so seeing this equation it follows a parabolic law so i have to find out the bending moment at x is equals to 0 and at x is equals to 2 so at b point at x is equals to 0 mx is 0 because this 5 into uh, 0 and this w into 0 it will be 0 therefore again here at x is equals to 2 that is at point a so mx is equals to minus 5 into 2 minus 4 into 2 square by 2 that is equals to minus 18 kilonewton meter so here i have drawn a minus 18 kilonewton and this follows a parabolic law so these are the references which i have referred thank you thank you very much for watching my video